Lipstick is worn off, so you know what day it is today. Thin day. <laughs> Hello, my darlings. It is another bin haul for you guys. My favorite Goodwill outlet, Miami Bins. Let's do a shop with me or thrift dig with me, really. Dig with me and then we'll come back to what I actually did purchase. Okay, so there you have the dig. As you can see, everything is thrown together. Bags, shoes, microwaves, lawn chairs, cribs. They just put it all together in the bins. And it didn't always used to be like that. I don't know why they're doing that. 
Um, used to be, you know, bags and shoes, or sometimes we've had a bin of shoes, a bin of bags. I could not tell you why they're putting everything together, but it is quite irritating for the simple fact that, you know, some of these housewares are sharp. And so there have been times where you see a knife poking out or a pair of scissors or something. And it's just, to me, it's a liability. I don't know why they do that, but prayerfully nobody gets hurt and they'll just fix that. But yes, that's how it's going in the Miami bins. So let's start with pieces that I um, showed you guys on Instagram. So I am not for the faux, okay? I, me and counterfeit don't go well. Um, I don't know if I told you the story, but there was a time when I went to Jamaica and I had a faux Louis bag and uh, I was wearing all white with my cute self and um, in the Kingston sunshine, <laughs> the bag strap melted. I had to have been like 17, 18 years old. The bag strap melted across my chest and from that point on, I said I will never do faux again. However, when I see it at the bins, and I got this because I was like, you know what, this would be a cute little bag to wear to Disney. Like, who's going to know? I didn't end up wearing it, but I did end up picking it up because, again, I just feel like, I don't know. I just felt like getting it, so I got it. And so I will not be keeping this. This is the inside. It has the little faux. Now, I say faux, and watch it be like the real thing. I don't think, no, it's not the real thing, but you know. Um, just like a faux little... Uh, faux, faux nail crossbody bag. I see these all the time at the bins and I never pick them up. And I just felt like picking it up this time. <sighs> Talk about manifesting. So I picked this up and then in a couple bins down the row, what do I find? And this is not, I didn't find anything saying that it was or was not Chanel. Um, it's really well made. So I wish that it was Chanel. But this blue, I'm going to say linen blazer with Chanel. Am I going to call it Chanel or Fonel? Fonel buttons. Again, I don't see anything on here that's saying that it's Chanel. I think that somebody probably got this beautiful blazer and replaced, Ryan, um, just replaced the buttons. So yeah, pick that up. Typically, I don't pick those things up, but I picked it up this time. Another thing that I have never picked up, but they were looking at me and I was like, I just come from Texas. So I feel like I manifested this because I saw so many beautiful cowboy boots in McAllen, Texas, 10 minutes from the border. And so, I mean, they to me, they look like they're in great condition. And I featured this on the gram and you guys said to get it and you guys loved it. So these, these could just mean cowboy boot. <laughs> this could be... It says Botas Aguila Real, made in Mexico, size 10 and a half. Um, can you see that? Oh, yeah, you guys can see that. And so it's just a really pretty boot. I saw so many beautiful boots, and these men and women spend money on their boots. So I was like, I'm going to get them. Worst case, they don't sell, and then I just have to donate them somewhere. But I was like, yes. You guys know I'm always on the lookout for colored leather for you guys because colored leather is just always in stock. To have blue leather, yellow leather, red leather, for me to have something like this, and does it have buttons? It does have buttons down the front, but you can either button it or overlap it, wear it oversized. I just feel like there's just those who know, know. So long leather. And this is Preston, Preston and York. And it says it's a size small. So there's that. Ted Baker wrap sweater. And it, it has, at first I thought this was a big hole, but no. It just has a tiny hole here, right here. This is the hole that the actual um, Whatchamahoozie goes through. Who's that? Oh, that's a button. Um, that the, what your mahoozie goes through. What is this called? Strap, whatever. That it goes through. I thought it was a big hole, but no. It does have a small hole, though. So I'll be listing that accordingly. This is a size one, Ted Baker one. I don't know what kind of mood I was in, because again, this is not stuff that I pick up. But you guys saw this in the shop with me. And so 
I just picked it up. I don't know why I picked it up, but I picked it up. I picked it up because I know that some of you guys are wanting this stuff. And again, I do not condone counterfeit. I do not condone. And it's not even about condoning. It's about, I had that really awful experience where the, <laughs> the blasted thing melted across my chest. This actually feels like leather. <coughs> Could, ooh, excuse me. Could this be Gucci? Because this is leather. Could I send it to the real real? Here's the question, guys. Does Gucci have... <coughs> there are some 90s Gucci styles that are like this. I'm going to look at the real real and see if it's really real. Because it very well could be real. It's not plastic like that plastic Vuitton that I wore to Jamaica that melted across my chest. <laughs> this is actual leather. I'm gonna check it out. Anyway, I'm not keeping that, that'll be for sale. Vintage size 16. I know my plus size Chicalindas are always asking me for plus size. This is a 16 Leslie Faye beautiful green dress. And it does have like some black piping down the front. And so if you really wanna do a good vintage moment with a camel coat and your green, oh, some, ooh, some yellow stockings. <sighs> Looking like the Jamaican flag. Don't, don't always try to do black, gold, and green. Oh my gosh, this is more turquoise than green, so nobody's gonna call you the Jamaican flag, but I'm always trying to take it there. My dad tried to work his way <laughs> into the ethos. Um, beautiful, I always pick these up, you guys know. I'm always gonna pick up a padded, vintage bag whenever i see vintage at the bins you can see the wear on the inside whenever i see vintage at the bins i'm gonna pick it up because i do not want it to go to a landfill so beautiful there we go this dress oh, this is why we go to the bins darling this little oh joyce is on the phone hold on let me wait till she's done talking we'll come back hold on Okay, we're back. So this is why I thrift. So this, of course, is a 90. And this is a size, it's Olga. And it's, I'm going to say it's a small. It's a size 32. I don't know what that is. But is this not something that the girls are wearing out? Free people will probably charge you like 60, 70 bucks for this. A beautiful slip dress. There is nothing new under the sun. Actually, Gucci will probably charge you $5,000 for it. Not $5,000, probably $500 for it. Put this on with like a really cool blazer. Like really funk it up, you know what I mean? Oh, I just love this. I just love that. That was, that was a find of the day. Um, again, whenever I see a vintage bag, I'm gonna buy it. about this piece <laughs> oh you guys know how I feel about an oversized bag oh, does it go with this that's what I have on hmm. okay I'm not keeping it guys okay I'm not gonna keep it um, this was Princess Polly, and I just got it because it's just, uncle, you know, I just thought it was a really nice skirt. Very, very 60s kind of mod vibe, so that's why I picked that up. And this is a size four. And then, oh, what's this? Oh, what a bag that I like. I didn't, this was no name, right? This is a no-name bag, but it's leather, 100% leather, spot clean only. I didn't see a brand. I did not see a brand, but I really liked, can you see that? I thought that was so cool. I thought it was so cool. Um, that's another reason why I like the bins, because it's stuff that you just, 
just stuff that you never see. Is this Wilson's? Yes, Wilson's House of Suede and Leather. <laughs> so vintage Wilson's blazer. It says size 40. What is a size 40? Does that be an 8? A vintage 8? All right, so let's get into this Ikea bag. Oh. All right, so this I did not get at the bins. I sourced this from another thrift store, but it was on the, um, Riley's rolling her car, so you may have to hear that. You may hear that in the background. Um, but I took it off the mannequin so that I could start listing this stuff, but vintage coach. All right, so here we have a suede Dooney and Burke crossbody bag. Now it does have right here, I guess where the person had kind of closed it off. But there we have Dooney suede crossbody. This was off in the cut and I was like, wait a minute, that looks like Kate Spade. The thing about Kate Spade, you really have to, and let me show you before I say anything. Kate Spade always has these type of, um, or used to do all these type of like can coated canvas bags. So when I saw it, I knew, like I saw it, it was faced this way. And I just knew that it was Kate Spade because of the canvas. And then I saw the leather here and I'm like, oh, that's Kate Spade. So Kate Spade fishy bag. That's what I'm gonna call it, Kate Spade fish bag. Wow Couture, I know because I just, I fell in love with this print. This is a size medium. I don't know if you can tell. There we go, look at that. Ooh, I saw this and I was like, oh, 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 oh. holiday party, are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> this was, I didn't realize I got this. So this is a vintage skirt. I got it because I just, I mean, this was a cognac, a cognac coat. I want to say this is probably like a 14, 16. I think I'll measure it, of course. Where are we going here? What is this? Oh, this jacket or this blazer. I don't know if you can tell, but there you, can, there you go. I like the shoulder on here. So cool. So, so cool. I want to say it's like a 10, 12. It's unmarked. I want to say it's like a 10, 12. But those shoulders are everything. Everything. <sighs> the skirt broke my heart. I'm praying that like one of you knows a leather, <clears throat> excuse me, Somebody who can fix leather. Look at this. Look at this skirt. Look at this skirt. The look. I was like, oh, I'm getting that. Somebody. It's an Albert Nippon, so it's a size 10. So I'm going to say it's a, an 8 because vintage runs a little small. Oh, gosh. I wish you could feel this. good. Here's another, I want to say this is a size 16. I don't remember. I have to take a look. But look at the buttons. No, it's not a 16, probably like a 12, 14. Look at the interior. Look at that color. Woo! And then Kenzo, guys. This will probably be going to the real real. I don't think I'm gonna get the money for it that I wanna get for it on Poshmark or eBay. And then this Zara jacket, this is a medium. I'm gonna save that one for last, for almost last. I, again, 
I get what I love. I know you guys may not understand it, but I was so feeling the vibe of this. I just, I saw this with black jeans and was like, with a big old nasty belt right here. Again, this doesn't have a side, so it looks like something was made by somebody, which is always best. This dress literally took my breath away. Look at this dress. Look at this dress. Oop, hold on, I'm getting a call. Ah! Sorry, my Apple Watch was like, come get me. All right, again. I love these types of dresses. These kind of like Studio 54, 54, 57? Heinz 57, Studio 54. That's the only way I can remember it. But these kind of beautiful Diane von Furstenberg like dresses. All right, I don't need a coat, okay? We, we know this. But I don't have a black coat, guys. I don't. I don't know who this is by. This is by made in macedonia this is cashmere fabric woven in italy it's casper i don't have a black coat guys i don't even know what the button is is it single breasted double breasted i don't even know i don't even know what it is but now i have a black coat <laughs> to wash my hair. I'm just out here in these streets. I don't have a black coat, but now I do. And I would have to do my whole zhuzh so that it stops right here. But there is no better place to get a coat than the bins. I'm going to style this up for you guys and put it in real. Don't worry. But it's a little long. <sighs> but I can rock. I don't have a black coat. Out of all the coats that I have, I don't have a black coat. So don't judge me, okay? And of course, the cool girl way that I would wear it. Of course, it's just over the shoulder. And then you're like, Dion, you in South Florida. What are you doing with a coat? Shut up. <laughs> no judgment zone on my channel, okay? Oh my gosh, when you're in your cute little outfit and he puts the coat on you, mm. coming out of the W, Lakeshore Drive. Mm. All right, let me get this stuff listed. I'm gonna be totally completely honest. I don't know if I'm gonna have this listed by the time this video um, launches. I have two speaking engagements this week, so Thursday. By Thursday, I aim to have everything listed. Of course, if there are items here that you're like, Dion, forget about that on that listing, just go ahead and what's wish the PayPal. Um, just reach out to me, you can DM me at I am Dion Dean on Instagram or um, you can email me, Dion at DionDean.com. Thank you guys so much. Again, I apologize. My goal was to have this all listed for you guys, but Dion Dean, Professor Dean and Dion Dean Creative was out in the streets, making money moves, growing my brand, growing my retail consulting business. And so I'm out here, I'm out here, I'm out here. But I can't neglect you guys. So definitely send me an email or slide into my DMs at I am Dion Dean and let me know if there's anything here that you want. And I got you. Love you guys so much. Again, thank you for your patience. Mwah. Bye.